TP in the place to be, man. Y'all go ahead and hit the like button, man. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already, man. We're going to go ahead and get into it. Today, we got DJ UTV and Charleston White. They're talking about White Lives Matter versus Black Lives Matter. Um, and they're just going ahead and getting getting into it. So I'm going to go ahead and um, start watching the video, man. Y'all go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't already. Go ahead and subscribe. We're on the road to 1K subs. Let's go. So how you gonna boost in her father? Uh, we did. Uh, boost in her father. Boosie and every other black celebrity. So I'm talking about their slap Kanye, huh? Why don't you go against Kanye? So you sticking up for Kanye? So what I was saying is, Boosie, why would y'all go for? Why would y'all go against Kanye, my nigga? Why would y'all do that? But y'all support Black Lives Matter. Nigga, little Boosie, your son, too, is more likely to get shot by the police than Kanye White kid. Kanye got white kid. Why can't he wear white lives matter? Homie got white kid, Boosie. But you say you gonna slap him? Oh, so you so you was in support of the white lives matter t-shirt? Yeah. Okay, so... The man got white kids. Okay, so you feel like white lives matter, too. I mean, all lives matter, but... No, 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 no. To no, put no. it on a t-shirt... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, if yeah. I got white kids, why I can't put it on a t-shirt, homie? My kids ain't all black. So if he got black, saying, hold on, hold on. If he, why you got to put it on a t-shirt? So how you know his kids didn't say, Daddy, do white lives matter too? He got black and white kids. How you know his... Now let me go ahead and tell y'all something, because some folks going to be like, Charleston is this, that, and the third. Charleston is literally saying something y'all could have all thought in y'all's minds. Y'all could have all thought out y'all's brains. Oh, man, he do got part white kids, half white. The mom is white. Him saying white lives matter, being around a lot of white executives, being around white women. You know what I'm saying? White people, a lot of them. Let's not act like we wouldn't expect Kanye West to have a white lives matter shirt on. Everybody who got mad at him is the folks who kind of be kind of meat riding to him and expect him to be perfect and do everything right. He put on a white lives matter shirt, bro. He probably trying to be controversial. Let it go. Baby didn't say, Dad, do white lives matter too? Is it just black kids? All right, well, Bear Man Kevin ain't got no black and white kids. He wouldn't got shit on his leg. Right, let's take the car. Okay, yeah. So, 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 why, so why won't black people sit back and say, man, you know what? White lives do matter. Then they got baby by a white woman. I don't know, though. I don't know if it's that easy, Mr. But, 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 nigga, hold on, hold on. If I got kids by a white woman, it is that easy. I mean, yeah, white lives matter. All We know all lives matter. So why you got a problem with me having white lives matter and white people don't have a problem with black lives matter? Well, black lives matter was supposed to be a, a, a protest for ourselves. By, by three gay women. It don't matter how, how they how they say only, poli only police shootings, though. So how do, on, poli it don't matter during police shooting. They don't protest no other time. Only police shooting. White police shooting. Not when a black cop shoots you. When a white cop shoots you, that's the only time black, black lives, lives matter. matter. So why I can't say white lives matter? Why we can't say Russian lives matter? Because black cops ain't killing the white, the white, the white people. Well, just because black ain't cops... Ain't nobody killing well, the white people. Oh, uh, yeah, they are. That's cap. That's cap, bro. In 2019, my homeboy put up to my house and we was having a conversation literally about this, about this same conversation. Literally, same conversation. I'm explaining to him, like, folks who really believe in Black Lives Matter are going to already kind of have been revolutionaries. They're not going to have woke up one day, Black Lives Matter. They're not going to say all that. They're going to have been already thinking Black Lives have Matter, and they're going to have already been trying to do things that are going to try to help Black Lives. So you don't wake up one day, Black Lives Matter, and you just forefronting somebody else's movement. You don't do that. I didn't do that. I'm not even screaming Black Lives Matter. I understood why they did certain things at certain times, but... There was no justification in other times whenever they were not saying anything and being silent whenever it was things to talk about. So that's why if you really know what's going on, you tapped in, paying attention, you're not going to be sitting around why black lives matter and everything. Because they matter in your mind and your mindset is going to change the world before you just say something to somebody else who might already disagree with you. Like, why in the world are we trying to get other races to be like Black Lives Matter? I get that. But we got to make sure that we are. We all understand that. 
We got to understand that. So it, it be kind of burning me up sometimes whenever we be standing behind stupid stuff. But then when it's time to actually keep moving and keep going in the same direction the revolution, the revolution was going, folks want to let off the gas. Oh, no, it's the revolution was back then. We got this and that. They don't want to keep. They don't want to. They don't know what what's it to fight for and they don't know how to keep the fight going. So. I understand that. So then just just so I don't cut off again. So the conversation we was having was pretty much just like, yeah, white lives matter versus black lives matter. You know, I'm pretty much saying black folks are just highly or highly likely to be targeted than white folks. And on the FBI database that showed pretty much all the crimes going on, you can see that, you know, Population of people who got arrested, what crimes, what for, and things like that. And I mean, you can look at it based on society and kind of tell different races do operate and do have different crimes that they that they are involved in. So Charleston is not lying. White people do get popped more by, by police officers than black people. It's just brought into the attention more often. Don't necessarily mean like all cops are not racist, so it could happen to somebody. Not saying, not not ruling that off the table because it definitely could, but that is a true fact. What Charleston saying? The white people. Well, just because black cops ain't cop, nobody killing well, the white people. Oh uh, yeah, they are. If you look at the FBI statistic, white cops shoot more white people than anybody, yeah. and that's truth. The mental health white boy at home tripping with his mama, punching holes in the wall, they shoot him way more than a nigga. I swear to God. You sure? I'm, you sure they don't just apprehend them and take them to jail I, 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 without I, I, touching them? No rules, no nothing? I've already looked at the statistics, brother. I don't speak. Now, DJU, I get where he's coming from in the situation, but not necessarily DJU. Most of those situations are whenever there's a mass shooting. So you're on a, you're on a point, but you got to make sure and kind of clarify that point so people can understand what you mean by that. Um, so, yes, during mass shootings, Usually sometimes when it's like a white man involved, they somehow the dude surrenders or they take the surrender, things like that. Cause I know me for being a cop. I ain't gonna lie. You do certain things, I'm popping you. I don't care. So see, don't make me a cop because I'm a pop. I feel like you already done did bad, wrong, and it's already kind of justified. I already done kind of caught you in the act. Nah, we blowing you down. It ain't no we'll figure out if he did it in court. No. 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 So, you know, the fact that some of these folks do be making it to court after they done pop 10 people, four people, five people, more than three. Can dog on acorn tree trying to act crazy with me. But uh more more than three people get 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 popped in a situation. A lot of the times the people, the shooters, put their hands up, they give up, they take the L, they'll take going to jail. They went they ain't gonna shoot it out with the police officers. That's what ends up getting them to put their hands up and actually get picked up versus shoot it out. I've already looked at the statistics, brother. I don't speak nothing. I don't know. You know, we got a tour about this I, last I, time. I, 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 you, you, you can even Google. On the surface, Google will tell you. On the surface, Google will tell you. Let me get back to my notes. I'm telling you. On the surface, Google will tell you that cops shoot more white people, homie. On the surface, Google will tell you that cops shoot more white people, homie. Why you think they only give us one every two or three years? Why you think the last police shooting you don't only give a call with George Floyd? Think about that. The media tell you what police shooting to get mad about. And all of them have already happened by the time they showed it to you. So you don't know about it till they tell you. They never tell you about when the white boy gets shot by the cop. It happens. The white homie. man never gets shot by the cop. I bet you a thousand dollars, homie. What was the name of that white boy that went into that South Carolina church? They took him away without a scratch on his uh, damn arm. But, but listen, homie, why would you want him to do something to them? He killed black people. We won't. Why? They take. They take so niggas. Hold, hold, hold on. When niggas kill niggas, they take niggas to jail without a scratch on their arm. When niggas kill niggas, little Timmy went to jail for killing King Von. He they didn't kick his ass. Eric Holden didn't get ass kicking for killing themselves. They took him to jail. So what are you talking about? They shoot white boys too. They shoot white boys too. All the time. 
I'm not we no just get, because, because, because we don't know statistics, homie. You can look at Google on the surface of it, homie, and look at just pull up just the crops that they'll show you. But we don't know that, homie, because we're looking for sensationalism, homie, to, to, to get us going. Nah, homie, they take niggas to jail with no cuffs on, no scratches, no nothing. I feel like uh, if a white man and a black man commit the same crime, the white man is going to get lesser time than a black man. They he's supposed to. <coughs> what you mean he's supposed to? What you mean? They're in power, my dude. That's why you don't make certain decisions on other people's land when you know they're in power. Because you know they got the power to do certain things and control your life. I mean, it makes so much sense. Why you say he's supposed to? I'm a white man. Right, and you just, you just robbed four now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no. I'm the white judge. It's our white system. Okay. You're our slave. Right. You want me, I'm Master George, that's Master William. You nigga slave, boy. You want me to treat Master like you just because he broke the same law you broke? I thought you said this is racism in America. Why are you expecting different, young man? And you say it's a war on black people. So if you know it's a war, why do you expect me to give him what I'm giving you? I mean, cause they uh they talked about that in the uh, in the Constitution of the United States. We all equal rights. But when we wrote that, you was a slave. You weren't even considered human. So how you now, gonna stop saying? DJ, you you should have not said that. DJ, you we already know in the Constitution in that time period when every when the Constitution was written, bro. Black people were enslaved in America. They were taken from Africa, enslaved, chattel slavery to america so you don't so it's not no nobody believes i mean it's even told the kids that you know the constitution was this 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 black people were one what one fifth of a man one third of a man type one fifth of a man so essentially you already knew that people didn't get their freedoms until it's another time bro you already can already agree that folks didn't get their freedom to another time bro you know that you know there was a civil war that was fought that pretty much kind of ended slavery. Um, but of course, Jim Crow was still going on in the South. You know that. So why'd you say in the Constitution, you should have definitely knew. And it's always about this is the reason why when you look at history, you have to take the context. You take it as a timeline. OK, if we got this at this time, what would this words have mattered to us at that time? Very, very profound thought and just a way of thinking about it, bro. Something that everybody can do themselves. They can do it themselves. Your brain can do all this. Think about what, think about, okay, if this invention wasn't made till this time, you need to think about these people not having that and dealing with not having that in the meantime. And how, and how, what they came up with, what they did in that time period. Man. Wouldn't even consider human. So how you. Now stop saying we, because you're not the white man. And the reason why you do that is because. You can understand and grasp history a little bit better when you put the dates on things that happened that were very monumental to just even your people, your country, history that's two, three hundred years old because there's still some relatable stuff up to about 300, 400 years. It kind of tells you about why things are the way they are now. But um, it just... DJ, you, you, man, that was, you shouldn't have said the Constitution, bro. You should have said the, the, you know, the Emancipation Proclamation, which wasn't written by us, written by Abraham Lincoln or signed by Abraham Lincoln. You used the Constitution, something that was written before all these events that got our people freedoms, somewhat, somewhat of getting a step in the direction towards freedoms that we do have today. So, like the white man, are you? Yeah, because I don't think like you. Okay. I think like the white man. That's why your name Charles and White. No, no, no. Listen, I understand that I wouldn't wrote into the Constitution. You the fool. You think the Constitution when they said we are all equal? You was a slave. I mean, that's what it said though. But you was a slave, so how can you be created equal when the slave was considered less than my dog? It said we the people of the United States. You wasn't the people. Black people, when they when when we wrote that up, you was back there, son. 
Listen, look at me. Let's check me out. When they wrote that, you was considered a slave. Three-fifths. You were not even considered human. That's how you was chained up and enslaved, because you were not human when we wrote the Constitution. We had to put you in an amendment almost 20, 50 years later. You make me uncomfortable when you keep talking about but because because this like, is, like you keep, what, what, keep what, talking like you a white man. Well, well, this is what's separating us, homie. Our mindsets. Don't you know it's some black? I nah, hell no, nah, because them white folks will look at you the same way they look at me. Fuck like your me. mindset, nigga. We got the same skin color. You ever killed a white man before? No, I haven't. So you can't tell me nothing. It ain't on my record. Man, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Charleston is taking DJU to school, and he's not being too rude about it because DJU, you should have known some of these things, bro. It's not like it's going to change you in every way, but it teaches you about the people who came before you and the certain sacrifices they made and why you here. I mean, sometimes learning that about yourself or learning that about the people who, who, who did certain things, made certain sacrifices, made certain things happen. It, it makes you realize that you got to quit playing. It makes you realize that right now, is your life. The same life that they had when they were doing certain things and they didn't have certain things and they were trying to make certain things happen. Certain folks wasn't realizing this is your life, bro. All the things you know are going to be detrimental to you. And it is about your mindset. Charleston, man, I'm going to let him kick some more knowledge and then I'm going to break I'm gonna break it down again. But I'm going to let him keep going. You go kill a white man and see if it's on your record and see. You go you kill a white. Hold on, you you, hold on, nigga. You you go on camera and say you raped a white woman and see if they treat you how they treat me. I don't know how you got the balls to say that shit. Because I'm a nigga, a ignorant nigga. No, you try to no, nah, homie. You can't you can't call your governor. I can. I can call the mayor. You can't. So they ain't gonna treat you how they treat me. We ain't the same nigga. Our mindsets. Don't you know, nigga? It was niggas who owned slaves that the white man sat next to, and he didn't enslave him. He had slaves too. Mindset is what separates us, brother, where I can say y'all and they. No, mindset is everything. Yep. Don't you know it's some black people that went and got an education like Colin Powell won't ever see you as them. And they think just like them. I'm one of them niggas. I think just like them. I believe this country belonged to me because I wasn't wrote into their constitution. I was amended into it. Mm -hmm. You think we was created evil. I don't. I don't believe me and that white boy was created evil. I know I was created stronger than him. I'm just under his rule and his law. So guess what? When he catch me in his court of law, right now I'm out on bond. I'm out on bond. Nigga, when they put me in that white boy jailhouse, nigga, I didn't expect to use the phone like everybody else. Nigga, they shipped me to a whole nother county before I can even call somebody. I wasn't crying. Nigga, they delayed in my bond process. Nigga, I wasn't crying. I expect the white man to do me like this, homie. I wake up in the country where my ancestor was enslaved. Why would I think that white boy equal to me? Mm. When my people started out fighting for it. It's like, bro, you better never forget this stuff, bro. That's the more that's the most important part about this stuff. Because, I mean, all of us kind of learned it in school. If y'all went to school, went to high school, they taught y'all some of this stuff. Even middle school, they taught us some of this stuff. So while y'all was playing, bro, some folks was just listening, bro. And I'm not no person who was making straight A's. But do, but do you feel like I forgot all that stuff that we learned back then? No. And then when it came down to, like, our history, bro, ah, you tweaking. Because, you know, history it, itself is written like that U.S. history and like that. We already know it's written by white people. We already know that. So you don't you don't you can't expect too much from them because you already kind of know what you're dealing with. You got to set yourself aside from certain things to be able to know who you really are, man. Equal justice and equal protection under the law only to take integration. We didn't get equal justice and equal protection. We took integration. I get to come to the football game. I get to play on your basketball team. I get to eat in your restaurant. We didn't take equal protection and equal rights under the law. I'm smart enough to know that. I'm smart enough to know we are not equal to this white man. We don't make law. Oh, shit. I done dropped the bleasy.
Damn, hold on. How we gonna beat him, homie? We don't make lava. Y'all fooling us believe he's supposed to... Damn, I'm about to edit all this shit out. I'm smart enough to know we are not equal to this white man. We don't make law. How are we going to beat him, homie? We don't make law. Y'all fooling us believe he's supposed to treat you. If he arrests me, he's supposed to treat the white boy like he treat a black boy. Why would you think that and you think all of this? Our people started out fighting for equal justice. All right, so I remember where I was at. Um, pretty much, man, one thing that we had to remember, bro, and he said it perfectly. Martin Luther King and Malcolm X had two different mindsets about the situation. You know, it's, it's definitely two different mindsets. The reason why I say two different mindsets, Malcolm X was pretty much saying we want, we want equality. And we're going we gonna to come about it in a certain, in a, in a, in a, in a mili uh, militant way. So when you look at him versus Martin Luther King, Martin Luther King was pretty much saying, I want to see a day, I hope it's going to be a day where black kids and white kids can walk in the same place and, you know what I'm saying, ride the same bus and be in the same classes and that type of stuff. But essentially... That's integration. That's kind of like, okay, we want to be with y'all, hugged up with y'all, we want to be around y'all. And I'm not knocking Martin Luther King for anything he did or things like that, but, you know, they didn't ask, they weren't, he wasn't really asking for equality in certain aspects. Like, it seemed like it was kind of going towards integration. Equality is pretty much saying, we know we're equal, we need equal treatment and pretty much the way you come about that is going to be definitely like fight you like you know how to come about that in different areas so you know how to protect yourself you know how to keep your finances together you know how to um you know make sure everybody moving around you know militant together uh all taken care of nobody hanging out no loose ends you know that that's different from saying we just want to live around y'all because th then then you do take the you do take um being subject to their laws, being subject to, you know, being a minority due to the population, but also a minority when it comes down to, you know, say so and representation. That was probably the biggest crippling thing that 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 hit us because it's been a many times along the way. And I mean, we got Black Wall Street. Um, uh, Y'all know just different cities. Um that pretty much all had black neighborhoods, black communities that black people lived in and they lived in peace and harmony. Yeah, it was crime sometimes, but it wasn't that much crime. People could leave their doors open. You know, it was pretty peaceful. It was lively. That type of, you know, that type of uh, environment. You know, I definitely agree that this environment did exist. And one of the things that did happen was with integration, they started knocking down some of the black schools and started putting, you know, putting the black kids into some of the white schools. You know, it kind of ran down some of the black schools there because they didn't put a lot of money into the infrastructure. You know, it was just still, you know, the city funding it mainly. And that's just kind of why you have a whole lot of the um, kind of the same cycles going on, man. People need to definitely realize, man, education is key. Um, you know, understanding the situation you in is most important. Definitely pay attention to history, man, at least at least over the past, you know, three, four hundred years. You want to definitely kind of have an understanding of that gap, that gap of time. So you can kind of. Oh, so this is why when I go to South America, I might see white people. And Native Americans and black people and this. Oh, OK, cool. That makes sense because of the things that went on back then. OK, cool. So when I go to here, I might see people here. OK, that makes sense. Yes, life will kind of make sense, make more sense to you in the places that you, in the, uh, the things that you're doing, you know, because you just paying more attention. But y'all, I know this was a big long to, um video, man. I definitely feel like 
Um, DJU, if he didn't understand it whenever Charleston White said it, no, Charleston White did not say it wrong. No, no, I, no, I understand where he's coming from. I understand where he's coming from in a good amount of ways. I don't understand always calling the police in certain situations or calling the police on people in certain situations. I don't understand doing all that, but I do understand where he's coming from, where he's talking about. You got to have your mindset together. You got to at least try to figure out what's going on in your environment, bro. If you know your people did not originate from here, you need to kind of at least know, you know, the history of the land you're on, the laws, the history of the land you, your people were from, the culture. But yeah, man, like I said, man, this, this has been a long video, man. Y'all definitely hit the like button, man. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already, man. It's TP in the place to be. I'm going to get at y'all on the next one. Y'all stay out the way. And until next time.